Well, how do there, chums? I'm back in, and we're back in a drift, back in my horrible-looking um, shuttle. But then again, saying that, it's not too bad. I was watching Jason plays the other night, and he's got one that looks just like a toilet roll tube holder or something. Uh, mine looks slightly better than his, so I can't complain. Okay, right. Anyway, let's go over onto Expedition, and let's hit on up. Phase two, and I've got to attempt to raise a signal. Got to find myself a communications terminal. Okay, all right. Well, let's hope that it gives us some sort of marker to go to for this hollow terminus. Because I don't believe there's one here at this location. Okay, reach your planet and begin your search. Don't say I've got to find it on my blinking home. I'll do a little scan like this, but... Seriously? Uh... I have no idea where where to start looking. How the fudge am I supposed to find a hollow terminus of all places? I mean, that's not it. You know what? I'm going to go up into the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. And can I call in the Nexus? I can. I'm now going to go over to that console and see if I can actually get all the stuff that I put into this expedition. I'll see you at the console. OK, well, here we go. Jumping out of the ship, legging it over to the console. It's really weird, this mission of having to find a hollow terminus. Okay, let's head on over. Hit this up. Chicka boom. And yes, I can now get all this stuff. Lovely, lovely. Right, well, it's going to take me a while to take all of this stuff out of the box, isn't it? It's a shame there isn't just a retrieve all button, isn't it? You know? Okay, fun times. Ah, and the box is moved just to make it even more fun. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, hold on, you can press X and then press triangle. X and triangle. And it does quick transfer. Oh, it did until I ran out of space. <laughs> Just as I started recording to show you this awesome tip I found. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, what in heck. You couldn't script this stuff, people. You really couldn't. Okay, well, I want that in my person. I'm going to run out of space. Okay. Well, maybe I might get lucky. Nope, I'm not going to be lucky. I'm going to be like one slot too short okay all right well let's get some of this stuff installed and then hopefully i mean i haven't even got a scatter blaster so that's no use is it oh for fudge sake okay um yeah i did i get the repair kits i think i did didn't i well i can repair that anyway because i've got the copper circuits now that's cool condensed carbon oh what's okay i can fix that too let's get that out of the way Magnetized ferrite. Can I apply the repair kit? There we are. Apply repair kit. There you go. And on that one, I'll do the same as well. Okay. Right. Well, I could put in... I've got a bit of technology in here. An idiom drive, which lets me jump to any system. So if I slap that in there... I can always unpackage it when I get the new ship and put it in there, can't I? So that's all good. Um, got some bits I don't really need. Let's let's get that installed as well then. What the fudge? Well, how? Yeah, I, I want to install locate it. Improve starship. Maybe I've already got it. I don't. I don't who who forget knows? All right. And oh, here we go. Well, that's weird. Okay. Why have I not got an install button for that? Move and stack. Quick transfer. What the... What is, da, da, oh, it's for... It's just S-Class reactor. It's for building my own ship. Dang it. Okay. Let's see if we can get rid of this. Can I fix that? Yes. And then if I move that over there, that makes my mining laser a lot better. And fix that. Can't do that right now. I can do that though. Right, I'm feeling a bit better about stuff. Let's see if we can get this one in too then. Chicka pow pow. And over here, I've got one for my bolt caster too. Zappity doo da. Okay. Inside of my suit, I've also got a load of uh, shards of glass that I can pop, or I should have somewhere. Here they are. Don't know what that gave me. 
Oh yeah, I got a couple of bits. There we go. And I'll just put all this in. I'll tell you what. You can. You don't need to watch me do all this bit because, of course, you probably didn't have the same stuff as me. So it's not real. Now's the time to go to the Nexus, basically. Oh, for fixing my ship, it looks like I actually just popped a badge. Okay. Okay, well, that, that, that was pretty good. All right, there we are. Oh, and it is in phase two anyway. So that, that's good. Apart from um, my inventory is full, which I'm still working on. Tell you what, chums. Without all the NPCs in the Nexus, this place is freaking eerily creepy. It really is. Um, yeah, just thought I'd add that in. But yeah, there's no way of putting in these multi-tool slots that I brought with me either. There's no console to do it. I've no idea how I'm supposed to expand my multi-tool or the ship. There's, there's no way I can do that either. So, um, yeah, that, at the moment, that's just taking up a load of space. It doesn't need to, to take up. Uh, fun times. All right, anyway, let's see if we can find this hollow terminus. So I'm going to select the mission. Now, let's see if we can pop this quickly. Whoa, I'm running on my own. Okay, so we've got all those blueprints. Lovely. Sweet. Salvage data. Great. Components, crafting, blueprints, all sorts of other stuff. Okay, well I'm wondering whether I should just use that salvage data because I've got a shed load of it to uh, turn into nanites. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, I might as well continue. Oh, okay, that's, that's run out of fuel. Stick to condensed carbon in. Carry on with that. Yeah, maybe spin it into nanites or something and hope... Well, I don't even know where I can buy modules. This is a very strange save. But I need to find myself um, a place to go and sell all of this, like at a Galactic Trade Terminal as well. So I might just fly over to the station quickly and just sell some stuff. Well, chums, it looks like to locate a signal booster, I need, well, to locate one of those hollow terminals, is I need to deploy a signal booster from the build menu when on a planet. Coming a lovely Captain's Brew. Best way to do an expedition. Okay, chums, well, we reconvene. I'm standing on top of the highest mountain I could find on this planet, but apparently it's not high enough. And when I say when it's not high enough, we, there is actually a mountain level here. Look, we've got to be 1,600 U's above elevation. And right now we're already 527 U's above elevation, which um, if I was at about 1,000, I might be inclined to actually, you know, build a structure high up in the sky but that that's not even close so the search continues on that one people anyway we've got to do this hollow terminus one so let's uh, head back down here to my ship holy fudge and ori okay right and um i've got to put down one of these signal boosters chicka pow i've no signal booster and um scan for transmit nearby structures surge battery there we go let's see if that does it What have you found? Okay, it, it's actually found a structure. Maybe I should have done the other one. Right, we'll do the other one anyway. Surge battery. Transmissions, please. Find myself something lovely. Transmission tower detected. Lovely jobs. Heck yes, so we're going over there then. Alright, we'll take this with us. Might come in handy for another mission. Who knows? I'd ha I'd have, I think I'd have these impulse beans as well. Thank you. Not that I need them. and My inventory is almost full. A bit of a crazy thing to pick up. But, you know, they, they might refill hazard protection. Oh, no. I nearly uh, busted up my ship there, people, didn't I? Completely knackered my ship up there. Right, I'll see you at the hollow terminus, peeps. But you know what? You know we're doing that light no sky type community thing. This planet would be oh fudge, would be lovely for that. It's, it's really nice this planet. Yeah. Then again, it's probably going to be littered with bases by the time I get back here, isn't it? You know. Yeah, very cool planet. If you are looking to get yourself a light no fire planet, this one might be it. The only thing I would say is it is covered in gravitino balls, so I'd imagine in normal mode. This will probably have aggressive sentinels come to think of it, so it might not be that perfect. Right, here we go. Let's interact with this then. Oh, I've got to charge it up now. Is that, is that a thing? 
There you go, have that. Kaboom! The communications tower and its powerful relay sit idle. There is nothing in the log. No sign of its creator. No sign of its users. It's nothing but a lonely monument. To something long forgotten. Transmit the signal. Cassette! With the power restored, I send out a signal. I wait, but without hope. There is no way to tell if it worked. No response, no communication. Just a meaningless blast into an empty void. Scan for signals. Okay. I activate a signal sweep, but there is nothing out there. No pattern, no flickering signal, just the empty noise of static. The background crackle of the universe itself. Am I already in the void? Boost! Receive a signal. I boost the relay's power as high as it will allow. The whine and its hiss of the relay. Building to a crescendo. Okay. Through the static there comes a faint trace, a thread of a signal, an anomaly. Spoke to the void! Okay, maybe I'm not in the void then. But we just spoke to the void, I guess. Okay, interesting. Let's grab that then. Pre-packaged cloaking unit. Hmm, that sort of tells me that we might be going up against something for combat. Okay, well we, we get that installed then if I can find it. Mm, there it is. Zappity do that. Okay, we better get back into my ship or else I'm going to bake alive out here. Let's go get that navigational data quickly. Zap. Any tubs down here that I can have? No. Let's go sit in the ship while we pop any other rewards and look at what we've got to do. Oh, we just, we just popped another milestone without even trying. Okay. Let's get back into here then. Let's go and let's go get that then. Oh, it's in phase two as well. Isn't that lucky? Prepackaged scatter blaster. Brilliant. I've got the scatter blaster S class modules. It's you so often get the scatter blaster on the um, on these expeditions that I thought, well, I bet I get it. There we go. We'll stick that in there. Did they just give me an S class module as well? Oh, they did. That's probably going to break the tech, but we'd have a look at which one's the best. Okay, so really we want um, either shots per burst or reload time. Shots per burst, that's got reload time as well. That hasn't got reload time in that one. And that one's got fire rate. So we're going to get rid of that one. I'll move that down there. There we go. I think we kept the better one out of all of those. Nice. Anyway, what's next? Seek answers in the stars. Okay. In space, summon the anomaly from the quick menu. We were just in the anomaly earlier, wasn't we? Maybe we should have waited until that step, eh? Okay, boom. Cool, yeah? Well, we're heading back in. Is it just going to pop a badge for flying into the space anomaly? A oh, little brute. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it looks like we might be going up to see good old Artemis. What the actual fudge, mate? Okay. Interesting. What's all this stuff down at the bottom? Anomaly signal distorted. Because what the fudge? Investigate the logs at the prime terminal. Don't say this thing that we stuck Artemis in is actually a bridge to the void. That'd be insane, wouldn't it? No authorization detected. Secondary simulation 16 pro protected. This terminal, like this station itself, feels so designed, so deliberate. It was cared for, but is seemingly nearly as empty and abandoned as everything else. Nearly but not quite, a cursor blinks on the terminal screen, a question looking for answers. Something is listening, even if it is just a machine. Request access. I type several commands into the terminal, but receive nothing but static in return. As I remove my hands from the input, something flickers, a small data packet, a set of plans for a design called the Mind Arc. Someone or something must have uploaded this da data, their final act. They must have wanted it to be found. Oh man, I've got to try and get some Atlantium. 
and activated copper. I went and spun all my activated copper into chromatic metal, didn't I? Fudge. Okay. Anyway, let's let let's see if Artemis is still in there, shall we? Oh, actually, I, I think this is slightly different in configuration. Oh, he is still in there, though. Look, there he is. There's Artemis. Hello, Artemis. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, fun times. All right. Well, I, I guess we're going to have to build the mind arc. I'd imagine. Shouldn't I have popped a badge though for doing that? Um, see cancers in the stars. Well, we've, we've done that. Okay. Well, I guess we've got to build the mind arc now, people. So eerie inside of this nexus right now. Okay. I would have thought we would have popped the badge for going into the anomaly and hitting up that chamber. And then maybe got another badge for doing the mind arc. I mean, it doesn't say the mind arc is part of the mission. Did I do everything in the Nexus I was supposed to do? I call it the Nexus, not the Spatial Anomaly, just because there's so many things in, in the game called the Anomaly. So you can't say... Well, I did that. So you can't say reward, yeah. In space, some of the Space Anomaly from the quick menu. We've done that. Okay. Right, I'm going to fly back in the anomaly just in case there was something I missed. Oh, chums. I just walked up here and look, there's Nada. What the actual flying fudge? The robotic entity is frozen in an empty shell. It possesses all the trappings of existence, but emit nothing but static. Oh, poor Nada! The entity, like the station itself, seems at once deeply alien and yet deeply familiar. An old friend, a home. Or just another void. Ah, oh, poor Nada! Wake up, Nada! Holy fudge! Okay, right, well, everything is completely foobard. There's nothing else inside of the Nexus. I've, went, I've gone over the whole of it. I can't see any markers in here, can't see anything. I don't know whether my quest is actually flummoxed or whether it's just not saying construct the mind arc. So I'm just going to do the mind arc and hope that that completes the mission. But for me to complete the mind arc, I need to find Atlantium. So I need to find a dissonant system. And I don't think this system is dissonant that I'm in right now. Um, discoveries. I don't think we've got any dissonant stuff going on here. No, we don't. We have got a dead world there. And one of my next badges is to collect some of these whispering eggs. You know what? I might do that while we're here. Let's go do that. Okay, so I'm going to go find myself the dead planet. Is that a dead planet? I mean, it's got clouds, so it's not that one. So the, the trick is to, if you want to find like dead worlds or whatever, look for planets that have no clouds on them. I mean that one, that one looks like it's got clouds as well. But look, contoured planet, copper, and gold and cobalt. That's not the same one though, is it? I don't think. Oh, it is. It is that one. Well, we can go there anyway. It's going to have the eggs on it. That's all I'm after, really. So let's go down and let's see if it has got the eggs. I checked all the planets in the system. None of them have got activated copper. Sadly, one of the previous planets I was on did have. I got it and I turned it all into chromatic metal. Oh well. Now in the patch notes, it did say every planet has those weird eggs. So I don't know whether that's actually really a thing or not, or whether you do have to find dead worlds to find them. Submerged relics. Oh, there's, um, might as well scan the creature. Lovely. Well, actually, I, I'm not seeing any of the eggs on this planet. Maybe I need, do need to find a dead planet to find them. I don't know what's going on there. What the fudge is that? It's all janky and gone weird. Look at it. It's like a Dali painting. Well, that's knackered. Yeah, I, I'm not seeing any creature eggs here. Yeah. All right. Fine. We'll just carry on then. What is this... Um cobalt deposit well I'll, I'll have that while i'm here might as well 
zap that out of the ground. Anyway, people, I'm going to reconvene at the galactic map and we'll look for a dissonant system. And hopefully it would have both what I need there, you know? Well, chums, it wasn't a totally wasted journey because shooting the heck out of this planet just gives me loads of barite dust. So, yeah, doing that for a bit as well. Okay, so I was on the expedition path and I just moved around until I saw it change. You see where it says water? That one says dissonant. So I'm going to go there and hopefully we can get our Atlantium. There might have actually been a dissonant system on the expedition path. I just came off of it slightly. So I'm still going on the expedition route. Right, well now I've arrived, Decated. I'm going to have a look to see if I can either find a dead planet for the lava cores, or see if I can find one that's got activated copper. That one's got magnetised ferrite. Not quite what I was after. And we also need to find the one that is dissonant as well amongst all of these. Not dissonant, and not got activated copper. Oh, this one looks lovely. I hope it's that one. Okay, that's got copper. Super critical planet. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Let's go to this one. Um, come on, let me scan you. Okay, don't then. Oh, here we go. This one's got... Now it's got dissonant detected. Let's see if this one's got activated copper over here. That has got activated copper. We hit it lucky. We go get the, um, the dissonant stuff first, the Atlantium. And then we'll go and hit up the activated copper on the other one. Okay, so let's fly on down here. So we're probably not going to be able to get those lovely eggs on this planet. So let's just go back onto Expedition for a second. Let's hit this back up. Oh, okay, that one. Yeah, look, it's, it's saying that we need to build that thing. So that is definitely part of this badge, even though it doesn't say it on the steps. Interesting. Oh, great. Okay, it's put me well off. Have I got the... No, it's not installed. I was hoping to find a bigger land mass than that. All right, let's fly back up. Let's see if we can find a better land mass. Trouble is, I think there's a storm at the moment. And the clouds are covering where I need to go to. Okay, let's go down this way. It looks like land is over this way slightly. Okay, let's try there. It looks like it's a very islandy world. I'm also trying to spot a high mountain, which you're not going to find a high mountain out at sea, are you? Well, you never know with this game. Okay, I don't think these are very high above sea level, as far as mountains go, but I might as well land atop of one that is, is fairly high, mightn't I? Okay. Let's just land here. Let's just see if it's a high enough mounting. I don't think it is. Sweet. Smallest planet yet again. Okay, fair enough. Well, let's start zapping stuff then. Mining beam. Lovely. Now I could just fly over this planet and shoot the heck out of it. Which is probably not a bad idea. But, you know, I'm landed now, so I might as well shoot all these crystals. I walk up to the top of this mountain, just in case. But it'd be interesting to see how close I am to the actual marker of getting the highest peak let's have a look no this is even lower than the previous one ow you freaking git see that freaking whip me in the face not the friendliest of freaking welcomes to a planet is it take that you hazardous flora before you get any ideas yeah okay right let's zap all these Right, how much Atlantium do I need to actually make this mine dark when it's at home then? Okay, um, I need quite a lot more. Let, shall we just shoot the heck out of the planet? Because I'm not seeing any sentinels to upset. So, 
Maybe we'll be able to get a load of Atlantium just shooting the planet. Let's let's give it a go. Because the stuff is everywhere, look. Give me the Atlantium, you know you want to. There we go, we're getting some Atlantium. Getting some carbon. I don't think this is working as well as I hoped it would. I'm getting a little bit. I'm not getting a lot. I have all of that though. Okay. Take that pumpy plant. There we go, there's some Atlantium. That's a bit better. I need to be able to fly slower. Having a sentinel having a sentinel ship makes this a heck of a lot easier. Sadly, I haven't got a sentinel ship. Dang it! My weapon's overheated. We're back at it. Have all of that, please. Holy fudge, look at all that down there. I've filled my ship inventory. So I've got quite a lot of Atlantium doing that. I think I might have enough now to build this, this mine arc. Yeah, I've got more than enough. Right, so we could just go and get ourselves the activated copper now by flying to the neighbouring world. Which I think we do. Okay, let's go. Up through the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, it was a neighbouring planet, wasn't it, that had the activated copper. So here's the one that's got the activated copper. I mean, like I said, this was slightly off the beaten track, but I just looked for a dissonant system and I got lucky. You know what? When you're looking for planets that have got high mountains, all you find is these lovely flat vistas. <laughs> and when you want a planet that's got a lovely flat landscape for your base building, all you find is poxy mountains. This is a um, story of my life type situation, you know what I mean? Okay, has this place got a landing pad? I don't think it will have. I just don't want to use too much of my um, launch thrusters if I can help it. Right, I'll find a decent place to land. Well, I, I forgot we're in an abandoned system of space and there's not many decent places to land. So, yeah, I've been looking for a resource depot. You know, like, well, actually the resource in the ground, which would be yellow. Guess what colour the planet is? Yeah, it's freaking yellow! So it's almost impossible to spot a resource clump in all of this. And you can see the poppin. The poppin's pretty terrible. I mean, I, I can shoot this planet and get a load of carbon, which is good. So shooting different planets is going to result in different basic resources. So if you are flying over a planet just doing nothing, you may as well just shoot it, you know? Get some resources while you're flying over. Alright, you know what? Aha! Here we go, we found something and there's some machinery there and we get a nav data, so yeah, we'll touch down here, that'd do me. Cool. Okay, well I just hit up the save, I opened a few boxes. Just checking out the damage technology. We'll take the living slime, there you go, you can live in my pocket for now, living slime. And I'll take this, we got the, na oh, we've got some more nanites. Oh look, there's a colossal archive right there. Why didn't that show up when I was poxy scanning? All right, is that activated copper right near to where I need to go to? We're going to walk there, people. I know, sounds crazy, but we get off. Oh, chums, this planet has extreme storms and storm crystals. I'm going to grab a storm crystal. Have that in my pocket. Lovely. Oh, can I get another one? Thank you. I have two of them. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's grab all this activated copper. Sometimes there can be um, missions to get. Okay, right. I need to worry about my hazard protection. If I if I get underneath this clump like this, sometimes if you get enough shelter, there you go. I've managed to stabilise my exosuit while I'm harvesting. Nice. I'm just going to see if there is a mission for extru for um, storm crystals anywhere inside of this. Okay, I'll be right back with you. 
Okay, it doesn't seem that you need storm crystals, but uh, looking around, we might need to go back to that dissonant planet. Because there is actually a badge in phase three to get yourself some radiant shards. I mean, to be honest, I could just find another dissonant planet later on when we get to phase three. Because I want to keep this phase aligned so people know. Hold on, I'm stuck in phase two. I need to watch this phase two video. They won't be very grateful if they're stuck on a phase three activity and I've already done it in phase two. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I do, I do it in order. Even though I could do it now, I'm not going to. Okay, here we go. I spotted a couple of others there that I could have done. If I was doing a speed run, yeah, I might do things a bit differently, you know? Okay, I'm, I'm slowly removing my hazard protection. And there's still a storm raging out there right now. So let's just get all this activated copper. So I shrunk my mining laser to get a better yield. Let's see if I've got enough to actually build it yet. Um, I need a free slot. Let's eat this. There we go. Hold on. I had a hypnotic eye. Oh, it must be in my starship, people. Okay, can I install this? No, I'm too far away from my starship. Okay, well, I think we've got enough now. So I might as well make the beam nice and big. Just get all the rest of this stuff out of the ground quickly. And we'd leg it back to my ship. Like, lickety split, quick. Where's my ship? There it is, over there. Am I going to make it back to my ship before the extreme storm knackers out my shields? Uh, maybe? The race is on. Dun, 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 dun. Run like the wind. Ow! Freaking bit me. Okay, right. Oh, good. Okay. Well, that's alright then. I'll grab these anyway. Well, hurry up and clear. Oh, my days. I don't want to take critical damage. Okay. I'll just put that in there. Okay, right. Now let's see if we can build this dang thing and pop the badge, shall we? There we are. Done. Sweet! Okay, bring the mind arc back to the prime terminal. I hope we don't end up getting sucked in to it. This could be a bit dangerous. I'll see you at the terminal, people. Um, hopefully this doesn't terminally kill me. Righto. Ha! Can't fly this thing for toffee. Well, I'm back. Here we go. Okay, I've built the mind arc, though I'm no closer to understanding what it is for. Hmm. Trapped souls in there. It's not great. It's a real message. A pattern in the noise or just another flickering of a faded world. Connect the mind arc. Twiddly twiddly. Lots of numbers there. I bet they mean something to somebody out there. The screen spits out thousands of numbers, row after row of data, moving at speeds I cannot process. It appears to be transferring data to the mind arc. Second simulation 16 updated. Population decrement complete. What the fudge? The endless stream of data finally settles. I'm unbidened. My exosuit appears to interrupt this final chunk as a set of planetary coordinates. Okay, lovely. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Signal trace detected. Anomalous boundary portal. Return to space to locate the portal. Is this all still part of the same freaking milestone badge in the expedition? Could do with updating its freaking text, couldn't it? You know? Right, okay. Let's, um, let's go out then and let, let's do that then. Okay. Interesting one. This, this phase two... Seems to be fairly long in comparison to others. Well, phase one that was. Then again, this is an expedition that should last for what? Seven weeks? Okay, right. Uh, uh, this way? Oh, don't go back in the Nexus. Fly around the Nexus. Fly around the Nexus. Actually, let's move the Nexus. Let's put that out of the way. 
There we go. That made it a bit easier, didn't it? Right. Boundary portal, here we come. Yeah, it's going to take me 40 seconds to get there. Okay, we're nearly at this boundary portal. There we go, let's fly on down then. Hopefully it's not going to be an approximate location, and it is the actual location. That'd be kind, wouldn't it? Have you got any high mountains on this planet? We don't know because it's too stormy, you can't see anything. Okay, right, let's just land then. Oh, okay. I wouldn't say this is mountainous, it's more hilly. It's hilly than mountains, isn't it? Alright, fine. I think we're good. Let's just hit this up. We'll worry about high mountains another day. There we go. Boom. Done that. Okay. The arc rests in a small notch in the portal smooth stone interface. A perfect mesh of the two radically different technologies. I've come this far. It's the only one more step. One small step. The portal calls to me. Activate the breach. Holy mackerel. Okay, this, this, this could be a fun one. Let's head on in then. Wow! Now thinking about it, Artemis went missing in between portals and entered the void. Use an actual portal. Maybe portals is the obvious choice of entering into the void? Holy fudge! Okay. Mind arc freed. The stars around you, but the truth is no closer than before. Um, I don't like this. Help me, Atlas. There's the Atlas right there. Let's let's go towards the Atlas. Come on, Atlas. Be me aboard. Be me aboard, Atlas. You know you want to. Hello, it's me. Help. Oh, I think he heard me. Yep, let me in. That'd be nice. Chickaboo! And we're off. Yet again. Am I going to end up inside of the Atlas or no? Don't know. Okay, and I've arrived located but underground. Oh, I'm back on ground now. Well, that was lovely. Okay, well, we, we swam among the stars. And it looks like there's some predatory creatures that want a piece of me. Take that, creature! Yeah, how'd you like them apples? Oh, you got me there, didn't you? Sneaky little sneakman sneak. Okay, right. We'll have that. Specialised warp blueprints. Five storm crystals. I just got myself two storm crystals, didn't I? I've already installed the idiom drive. Okay. Well, thank you. Oh, look, there's a turtle there. Lovely little turtle guy. Okay, right. Well, we've, we've completely... Uh, let's, let's put that inside of here, shall we? Um, that was best to do this. Ah. Hold on, why is my ship out of range? Oh, fudge and heck. It's all the way over this way, people. It's miles away. Take that, pumpy plant of evil! Yeah, I don't like hazardous flora. Keep whipping me in the face, people. Plus, it's also a good way to get yourself some oxygen taken out the hazardous flora, just as a little heads up. I think there is a later badge to take out x amount of hazardous flora so just have that in mind i think there's also a badge for scanning um creatures and i have made a bit of an effort to scan creatures but i haven't been as frugal as i could have been or, or whatever the word would be but anyway let's hold on over this one i think frugal is where you, you're a little bit tight with stuff isn't it so maybe that's right maybe it's not okay let's head on over this way there's my ship i'll see you back at my ship people well, it would seem that everybody's ships appear in the same place. Because there's a load of comms balls around my ship. Obviously, that wasn't me. Okay, right. So let's head on over here, then. The messages don't seem to be popping up, though, as frequent. No, I don't think they're popping up at all. How odd. Yeah, we've got this little bucket of death here. Let's, let's interact with that, shall we? Okay, vessel, 16 emptied, cause, sentinel information, blah, 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 press iteration, broadcast, there we go. Okay, brilliant. Okay, there's a load of um, oxygen here. Sweet, we'll have that, because it's as rare as rocking horse turd. Yeah, this is... I'm going to head on over this, and has this got some slime on it? Living slime? Residual goop, that do. All turns into nanites. Lovely, lovely nanites. And I got more nanites. Okay, fine. 
Might as well look into all of these. And I think we're good now. Alright. Well, there's my ship. Let's see if we can install that shield that I wanted to install. So we still haven't managed to find these uh, larval cory eggs, which they seem to be on the worm infested planets quite a lot, don't they? Which are now dead worlds. I don't really want to warp all the way back to planet one if I can help it. Right, where's that shield gone? There it is. OK, so if I just move the missiles there, move the shield there, I can move that shield there and get the adjacency bonus. Certainly little, but every little helps. OK. Let's see if we can find a dead planet. Or even... Oh my... What's going on? Okay, that was a bit freaking weird, wasn't it? Okay, is there a dead planet inside of this system? Let's have a quick look. There's a fungal mould one. That's the one I just came from. Hold on, this should all be discovered. Okay, fine. It's not, though. Okay. Scan this little tiny moon. Ah, there we go. Airless. It didn't have any clouds, which made me a little bit suspicious of it. Right, oh, people. Now I've got to um, get all these whispering eggs. This should be fun. Um, fun is probably not the best choice of words. And I thought this would have the worms all jumping out of it. And have all of those eggs on it. Oh, there, there they go. There's one there. Let's go grab that whispering egg then. I would have thought they would have been more plentiful than this, to be honest. But no. Okay, cool. Might as well grab that while we're here. Right, this could take me a little while to get all of these eggs done. Right. Grab that egg. Oh. I was expecting a load of creatures to pop out. Maybe I'm not getting the creatures pop out because I adjusted my settings. I customised them a little bit. Well, this will make this a bit of a walk in the park then. Lovely. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, so in episode one, people, I went into options. I went to difficulty. And I just put these down as low as I possibly could. As, as low as they would let me. On foot combat. Look, I put it as none. Alien monstrosities ha! <laughs> and sentinels. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the setting you want. If you if you want to walk in the park, this is this is now a joyous occasion. Aha. Happy, happy, joy, joy. There you go. And the sweep scanner works as well. This is lovely. All right, people. Well, you, you've seen me do a couple. It's going to be the same thing over and over again until I've got all these lovely little marbles. OK, reconvene in a bit. OK, chums. Have a look at that. I've collected quite a few of these things now. And it's not gone up in count. So me being clever, thinking that having the difficulty welled down, because it allowed me to well it down, didn't. Um, and now I'm not too sure what the actual preset actually was. So I don't know whether it was standard. I put it up to standard. And we'll see if this actually adjusts anything. Okay, right. Now I need to find myself some more eggs. And now my sweep scanner has decided it doesn't want to work. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yep, target sweep. There we go. I've got to find some more eggs by using my beady little eyes now. And hope that that fixes it. Otherwise, maybe I've just foobarred my... Um, save people which isn't good come on where's some eggs here we go we've got some let's see if this does the count then watch out give me that there we go one of 16 it's working aha there's another one over here we'll go get that i mean it's it's not quite a walk in the park anymore but because it's low atmosphere and I've got a couple of movement modules, I should be able to stay a couple of steps ahead of these crazy little beasties. But at least it's working. Just means um, I've got a lot more work to do, people. All right, well, leave it with me and I'll reconvene when I've got all blinking 16 of them. 
Fun times. Okay, people, last egg. I can see it over on the horizon. There it is right there. We're going to go and grab said egg. And then hopefully we're going to pop the badge for this one. There should be all 16, 16 eggs collected. Zap. And grab. Grab it. And leg it. I guess we've done it. Brilliant. Sweet. And now I'm going to head back to my ship now, people. Lovely jubbly. And once I get to the ship, we'll pop the badge. I'll see you back at my ship. Okay, chums, I'm back in the old ship. And I'm going to pop this badge. Boom. Hazmat gauntlet plans. P package paralyzed mortar unit. Nutrient processor plans. Heck yes. We're very lucky. Sweet. Okay. Nutrient processor. Sweet. Okay. Uh, right. So can I um, install this? Well, I haven't got much room left in my old multi-tool now. I've got no way of expanding my multi-tool either. Got a load of these little green marbles now. Lovely. Um, right. So. Yeah. That's a fun one. You know what? I'm going to go back into the options now, though. And I'm just going to turn off those uh, settings that I put back on again. So it's a... Oh, actually, I think things have just popped back up because sprinting has now gone weird. There we go. I'll put those back down. There we go. Done. Sweet. Okay. Now, there is a badge inside of this expedition to find the highest mountain. And I think it's going to happen before Rendezvous 2. So I'm going to check every single planet inside of this current system for any high mountains. And I'm also going to check every planet on the expedition path if I don't find a planet with high mountings. I, I don't want to go to the space station. I want to go to this planet right there. Okay, go on. I'll go check all the planets. I'll let you know if I find one. Okay, so there's this planet here, Hexath Major, and it's got ancient bones on it. Now, I know I said that I wouldn't deviate from these sort of paths, but there is one here to actually excavate ancient bones. And this would be the opportune time to do that. Hmm. Okay, well, this lush planet hasn't got very high mountains. It has got the ancient bones. I'm so tempted to grab them. Um, but I do want to try and keep it phase aligned. So, yeah, I'm not going to get them. Anyway, I'll check the rest of the planets. But if I was to do this speed running wise, I'd be getting the ancient bones there. Just as a heads up. We might have to come back here using the teleporter in phase three. So to do that, I'm just going to put boots on the ground on this planet. Anyway, so I'm just going to jump out of here. Boom. Lovely jubbly. There you go. New largest planet recorded. It's very rainy here as well, I have to say. Cut. And then I'm going to take off. And before we leave this system, I am going to be making sure. Hex of Minor, Major, brilliant. Cool. Um, I don't think I can. Can I Can I rename it? I can. I'm just going to call it Bones. There we go. And I'll put its name there just in case you guys don't rename it. You know what? I might. I, I can put a base computer down now. I'm going to put a base computer on this planet so I can definitely get back here easy using a portal. Look at this one. There's a planet over here that's actually labelled as a rocky planet. Let's hope it's got a m mountain on it. But not only that, this one's also got ancient bones as well. <laughs> Two planets in the one same system with ancient bones. Well, for a rocky planet, it's not very mountainous. I mean, we got we got this, but that that that. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's no mountain, is it? Well, let, let's find out how tall this mountain is, shall we? Right, I'm landing right on its peak. There we go. Have I done it? No, I'm only 400 years above rigging level. All right, fine. Well, that one doesn't do anything. Away we go. Oh my days! There's a third planet in this same system that's got ancient bones. Okay, people, there's a load of them. So when you go through the portal or whatever it was that we went through, you know, and we ended up in said void, 
All of them, pretty much. We've got bloody ancient birds. Okay, so just keep a record of the system. There you go. I'll show you what system it is, just just in case. Is this system? Is a wajaja wajaja? Yeah, that one. Okay, go cool. on. Um, I've run out of. Oh no, maltritium. Okay, well I landed on every planet. This one's got probably the highest mountain of 500 U's, but I don't want to build a thousand U's up into the air. I've done that on previous expeditions. It takes freaking ages. All right. So, and then pretty much as I followed the expedition path, I came across a planet that was nice and high. Okay, well I've put a base computer down on one of the actual planets that has got the um, ancient bones on. So not a problem. And um, we're just going to carry on along here and uh, we're nearly at the next rendezvous point let's just hope that there's a planet here that's got the highest mounting okay so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go inside my expedition catalog and go to phase two and i'm just going to select the second rendezvous we're going to go to that planet and just hope that it's got high mountains let's go and have a look it says barren planet it's got cursed dust on it it's going to be one of these worm ridden planets Let's hope it has got high mountings too. Aha! Well, this looks very mountainy. Okay, I've only just gone through the atmosphere. And I've been presented with... I mean, I'm, I'm pretty much by the clouds. If this doesn't pop the badge, I'll be surprised. Okay, there's a load of comms balls here. I think that is probably a hint. Yeah, let's land here. Jump on out. Stand here. Is it the highest mountain? Uh, how high am I? Oh, we're so close. So close. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to put down a little computer here. And we're going to claim this. And I'm going to build a little base up here. I mean, it does look like... The rendezvous point is just at the neap of this hill. So if I do build a lovely base here that takes you up 200 U's, it might help a lot of people. Let's see if we can do that then. Okay, so ally wall. Yeah, I can build 63 of these. Let's um, go on up. And, uh, and I want to get a floor plan on. Stick that there. More of these. You're probably thinking, Captain Steve, why don't you just build a staircase? It's not as fast in getting you up the level that you need to get to. I'll show you what I mean in a second. Let's, let's fly up here. So here you go. You can fly up the side of this normally. There we go. We're up a little bit. Now I need another floor panel. And it's a case of building like this little mini sort of laddery type thing. We just need to go up 200 odd U's, which isn't a great deal. Let's see how close that gets me now. Come on, fly, my pretty fly. Did I put did I put the floor panel there? I better have, or else I'm gonna have got a long pull. There we go. And I'm just gonna keep keep doing this until I get to the actual elevation we need to get to. Okay, chums, I think this might get me to the elevation I need. Oh, we're nearly there. I just fly my jetpack. There you go. I'm done. <laughs> okay. right -o. Um. Well, is there anything else I can do just to I put a little staircase in? It'd be nice if I could put a landing pad at the top of here, wouldn't it? But I don't think I've got the landing pad unlocked. No. If I could put the landing pad there, then that would save people a massive climb, wouldn't it? There we go. Maybe that's something I can do later and finish this base off. But you can see here, I'm pretty darn high up. Let's, uh, let's have a little fall, shall we? Whee! Okay. And engage my jetpack. There we are. Right, if I can put a landing pad at the top of that, I will, just to help people out a bit. There you go. Upload base. Um, I'm going to call this... Um, highest mounting. Highest mountain, milestone. There you go. 
and upload. Right, well, now we're just going to the rendezvous point, which is somewhere. Well, for fudge sake. Yeah, let's claim that. Can't yet. So, rendezvous. It is just this way. I think it's just at the foot of this mountain. About there. Okay, this could be an interesting fall. Oh, we might have to create our own food later, so I'll grab that. There we go. Yep, still this way. I think I've just got to fall off the edge of this mountain and I think I'm there. Okay, right, I'll see you there, people. Okay, well, I'm there at this this grave. It doesn't look like the ones that were in the patch notes with a ship tethered to it or a crash ship tethered to it. Oh, hello. Boundary failure. I see you. I see all of... This is forsaken flicker of an entity. To hear their voice, it startles me. By the time I understand what I'm seeing, they have been consumed by static. The only voice I've heard, and it's gone. Is this an illusion, a holographic echo in the noise, or a fragment of some lost reality? It doesn't matter. They're static now, like everything else. Call out. Alone. Interesting. Okay, that's is that that done? Is it? Okay, right, fine. I'm going to scan you, beastie. Um, I don't think that was the actual rendezvous point, you know. Apparently, it's even further down the hill. I just come across a traveller's grave through frick, through, through luck, I guess. Then, Cody Farginori. Okay, it's this way. I am getting closer, aren't I? Falling down the mountain is the right thing to do. I hope. Otherwise I've got a long walk up a mountain. Which is lucky I've got a flying creature. But nonetheless, I don't want to do it. Oh, chums. Look, I just killed a hazardous flora. And it says that you only need to kill nine of them. That was a phase something cover reward. I accidentally popped it. Just by trying to get oxygen. Sorry. Um, okay. I just have to say, you know. Well, hopefully you guys have done the same thing anyway. To be honest, it's not a difficult one. Seriously? This is not what I expected. Okay, cool. Get that up. Sweet. Yeah, I've learnt an alien word. Well done, me. Okay, right. 400 used this way. Fine. Let's head on over here. Still scanning creatures when my sweep scanner isn't automatically locked on. Can't be asked to change it. We're nearly at rendezvous. We must be near to rendezvous two now. 300 U's this way. I should be able to see it, right? Hmm. Well, it looks like it's a trading post. Hmm. Okay, well, there's a galactic trade terminal here. Maybe I might be able to make use of that. Is my jetpack good enough to get me up there? It's not, no. We'll use the ladders then. Might as well check see if I can either buy something from the Galactic Trade Terminal or um, sell something here. Because I'm, I'm really low on storage capacity right now. And yeah, I think we've now completed the old phases anyway. I can use a nav data to call my ship to me. From, oh my! When you want it to use a ladder, it doesn't. And when you do want it to use a ladder, well, you know what I mean. Anyway, let's head on up here. I'm calling my ship. I do love these worm planets. Freaking awesome. There you go. Starship's on its way. Let's go over and see what I can sell. Just do a little bit of inventory management. Oh, look. Okay, sell. Let's have a look what we can sell then. Anything worth selling. I don't know whether I'm going to need this cursed dust. It could just be taken up place. Got sticky honey. It might come in handy for cooking later. And I've got, got a few other bits that I might be able to use for cooking. I was hoping to use that in a, a conflict scanner. But I haven't got the blueprint. I can't get the blueprint. But I can give that back to my other save. i get rid of the living slime, I guess. Mm, storm crystals. I'm, I don't know whether I'm going to need them. Again, I can... Yeah. It's tricky to know what you can and can't sell on these expeditions. It really is. Yeah, there's a few things I could use there, maybe. Viscous slime, I could turn that into nanites. Alright, I'll just keep what I've got. Alright, fine. 
Anyway, people, I think that's the phase done now. Expedition. Let's see if I pop that. There we go. We've got all of our Starship Wreckage base parts. Nice. Is there something that's going to give me some more inventory space? Starship inventory times three. Well, I'm going to just use it. I'm going to use it on this ship. I, I know I'd rather use it for when we get a decent ship, but it, it looks like we're going to be stuck with this ship for a little bit longer. So I might as well put in a little bit more storage. Oh, sod it. I'm, I'm just going to go to town. There we go. Alright, fine. At least I've got some more storage now and I can move stuff over from my exosuit into my starship now. That I, I'm a little bit wary or I want to put back into my other save. Because, yeah, might as well, isn't it? Okay, alright. Well, um, there we are, people. That's freed up a bit of inventory space. And we got that. Sweet. Okay, I might as well get these installed, located inside of here. Not that I really need that one. Done. Well, we might for a future planet. You would never know with these expeditions. I jump in my ship, out of my ship, create a lovely little save. Okay. I, I, I can't help but see that. Approach the void to begin your dream. Return to your ship and head to the stars. Well, that's next episode, people. Brilliant. Heck yeah. And we're going to be doing that. And it looks like I've got the phase 5 reward, which is the uh, kill weeds. So I might as well get that as well. That's going to give me free starship slots. I might put some in the technology space. There we go. Well, there we are, people. Might as well jump in my ship out of my ship again now. Create another save. Right, well, that's phase two done. Now, I'm not going to lie, people. Phase two, that was an ordeal. That was quite a long one. But considering this expedition is supposed to last seven weeks, I can not complain. Heck no. It was fun. I, I, I didn't get bored. That's, that's definitely a thing that I can say about this expedition. It's not boring. It's been fun the whole time, all the way through. Till next time, people. Hopefully see you for phase three. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.